go eaty. Okay, here's another video. In this particular one, I'm gonna work on how to draw from reference. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Every super successful, um, legendary illustrator, I'm gonna use the term illustrator, has worked from photo reference or drawn from life to create those uh, masterpieces that you see. So, what I wanna do is uh, illustrate, for lack of a better term, um, how to render from direct photo reference. In this case, I did a, um, a little piece, a little two, a two man combo here of uh, Frodo from Lord of the Rings and also uh, Gollum. And as you can see, I sort of uh, cobbled together in Photoshop probably like three or four different um, photographs to make Frodo and then at least, at least one or two to make uh, uh, the Gollum and I kind of uh, put them in a composition that I thought was pleasing and brought them into Procreate, put them on their own layer, grayed it back, added a layer on top, and just started inking, digitally inking. And here's the thing you need to know, is that it's not an awful thing to use photographs. I remember when I was in art schools, it was kind of taboo uh, for some strange reason. When um, I went to in uh, a museum uh, and that had some Norman Rockwell um, illustrations there or paintings there and the fact is he used a lot of photo reference um, one of the greatest comic book artists of all time uh, uh, Alex Ross I almost said Bob Ross <laughs> different different Ross um, Alex Ross uh, uses like almost primarily photographs, at least for the final art. I know he kind of does a lot of his drawings, so there's preliminary thumbnails and rough sketches. He'll, he'll just draw them in, and he's phenomenal at that as well. But, um, but when he's ready to uh, go to final paints, he uses a lot of photo reference. And, um, and to be honest with you, it's not a bad thing. Don't let mall rats fool you to actually trace things. Um, you can learn a lot from tracing photographs. But let's be clear trace photographs, not other people's illustrations. I think, um, I mean, there may be some rare instances where something's so photo realistic, perhaps, but that's kind of a kind of a dicey line. I don't, I don't like the idea of um, directly tracing on top of someone's art. However, a photograph, it's a different thing. You're essentially making art from that uh, photo image and um, if you're like me, you try to add a lot of texture and flavor that may not necessarily be in, in the photograph. And obviously, if I'm rendering in line art, I'm trying to capture those. Um, you can see what I'm doing with Frodo's hair, the textures of his hair, um, the textures of his cloak. Is um, that's all technique? That's you know that's rendering. Um, sure, the, all the building blocks are there in the photograph. But it's definitely not um, comic booky, you know. And so that was my attempt here to kind of make it comic booky with all the sort of feathered black, um, you know, lines that sort of taper from uh, its darkish point to a point. Um, you can see it there, and I fi I'm filling in the blacks in a very sort of comic booky way, sort of spotting in those. And as the piece kind of progresses, you can see the technique that sort of comic booky inking technique. And you can see it better there when the photograph is sort of, uh, the layer that the photograph is on is sort of blanked out. You can get a better sense of it. Um, I know I'm very, very close to putting the finishing touches on this one. I'll probably add a nice little black background. As a matter of fact, I know I add a nice little back black background. There it goes. Just kind of give it some drama and some little texture on top of that. And I sort of grade Gollum back to kind of push him away. But anyways, so that's a sketch. Don't, be, don't fear the reference. Use it. And um, don't be afraid to trace, especially if you do it in a very artful way. So, sketchy goichi, live your moment, happy sketching y'all, peace.